What's up, everybody? My name is Tykel, and today uh, we're doing another dip review on some new Outlaw dip that I have not tried, and I just got them today. We got five cans. Oh, well, one, two. We got four cans because I gave them fifth one. I got another badass bourbon because I love it so much, and I got me a can. I got my dad a can because he likes some badass bourbon. It's it's really good. I rubbed the whole can. So last time we did the Lucky Lipper, Killer Vanilla, Wintergreen, Southern Sweet Tea, and is that it? Southern Sweet Tea, Lucky Lipper, Wintergreen, Badass Bourbon. I forget. Uh, I forget. And now we got the fucking Ramblin' Root Beer here, Badass Bourbon. We got some Georgia Peach. And, the most I'm excited about kind of is Candy Cane. This is a new Candy Cane dip that they did for Christmas. And I finally got it to give it a try. And here's a Georgia Peach right here. Got the Ramblin' Root Beer. And of course, Badass Bourbon. Now, we ain't going to do Badass Bourbon today, but that's my new everyday dip. I actually grew tired of rubbing some Grizzly. I like Grizzly, but I'm growing tired of it. And I'm starting to like these dips. They're all nicotine in them. There's no tobacco. And I might quit Grizzly to go to Outlaw. So, what the fuck do we try? I mean, when we got three cans here. We got Candy Cane, Georgia Peach, and Ramblin' Root Beer. Let's just take a sniff of the Ramblin' Root Beer right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's, that smells like some root beer, man. <laughs> Georgia Peach... Dude, that, that literally smells like a peach. That's wicked. Then we got the candy cane, which reminds me of spearmint, but it might be good. That smells like smells like a fucking candy cane. Man, I don't, I don't know which one to try right now. We're going to try them all. We're going to have it sit in our lips for a little bit, and then we're just going to spit them out. So I'm thinking, let's try out the Ramblin' Root Beer first. Perspective spit. Ah. Okay. Oh, it's thick too. We gotta take a pitch. When I say thick, it also means it's gonna fall apart too. I think we need a killer filler. Ain't enough. I do taste some root beer though. Mm. Here is the style of the can. If you can see that. I don't know if you can. Here's the side of the can right here. Outlaw. Okay. Mmm. If I had to rate this, for it to taste like root beer, it's a fucking 10. This shit is actually really good. Wow. Like the Lucky Lipper, the Lucky Lipper was like a, a taste of a lemon lime, like a Sprite or a Mountain Dew. Either way, I kind of taste the Sprite Mountain Dew mix, which, eh, it wasn't bad, but, you know, it wasn't like a 10. Now this tastes like some root beer. And my dad wanted me wanted to try it because he loves root beer and he loves well back when he used to drink he liked bourbon or any type of alcohol mainly beer but he likes bourbon which makes him like badass bourbon and he's gonna like rambling root beer because these two cans right here are right now on the store uh, four ninety nine about five bucks plus tax and shipping. This shit is the best. These two cans right now are at the top of my list right now on how good they are. Badass bourbon tastes like some bourbon. Rambling root beer tastes like root beer. Real good. I don't even want to spit it out. This is too good. And we got two flavors left. We got candy cane and we got Georgia peach. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to spit it out. It just, it tastes good. It's really good. 
Mm. I'm getting a new mud jug soon so I can stop using bottles. I don't know, I always cling to bottles because that's literally a, what I've used for like years until I got a mud jug. Okay. I don't want to spit out Rambler River beer because it's too good. But I think I got it. I don't want to waste a dip. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, we got to try out the candy cane. We got to try out the Georgia peach. Next up is Georgia peach and then candy cane. Candy cane is last. We'll put that there. All right, before we put spit out this dip and put this one in, here's what they look like. This is the Georgia peach. I don't know if you can tell. See right there? It's got little peaches on it. Here's the side here. You got the outlaw. Out of any dip in this world that, like, Grizzly, Copenhagen, and the American Snuff Company makes, they make some good-ass flavors. They have. Straight, like Copenhagen Straight and Cup Southern Blending. Grizzly Wintergreen and Grizz Natural. Compared to these, these are ten times better. If you ever want to quit, these are tobacco-free, but they come with nicotine, or you can get them without. And without, they're a lot cheaper. Say, like, ones with nicotine is $4.99. Without nicotine is $3.99. And I actually got, right now... There's two flavors on there. One is $2.99, and that is this one. They only have this one in nicotine. I haven't seen one without. Um, for now, this one was $2.99. Um, they got a couple more flavors. I do want to try, like the mint, uh, the yellow blend, and the cherry chocolate, which we're doing for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh and you will pre-order it right now for $30 for one can, which I think it's a little absurd, but I think they're going to lower it down because it's a pre-order. All right. I don't want to spit this out. But I have to. Oh, it's, that's, that's just, that is amazing. That is amazing. Hmm. Set on the side, root beer. That is really good. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, and I just got the brand new Mountain Dew, which I haven't seen anywhere. Just got it. It's a Mountain Dew Spark. I, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's a, it's a blast of ra raspberry lemonade flavor. So, I don't know. I'd rather have a root beer right now or Mountain Dew. I have regular Mountain Dew. This ain't great. That ain't good at all. I don't know if you guys like it or not, but I, I don't like it. It's a gas station Mountain Dew. All right, what? Georgia Peach is next. I'm excited for this one, and I'm excited for the candy cane. I was excited for the ram root beer, and I gotta tell you, I think I'm gonna rub it all. See, I've been dipping for about, what, nine years? I've been dipping for about nine years. And I pretty much tried everything, including chew. I've tried pretty much everything. Um, and I could never find new dip. And now we got outlaw dip, which is a hell of a lot better than everything. Still to this day, if I had to choose between like tobacco wise, like Grizzly or Red Seal, I'd be picking Red Seal Natural. Red Seal Natural has always been my number one because I love their natural flavor. I like their wintergreen too, but I prefer their natural. Now, we got Georgia Peach. Let's pack this bit, y'all. If you're if you're pinching something right now, some good shit, you might as well pack dip spit with me. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna taste. They said it tastes like a peach. I'm not a fan of peaches, but I don't mind it. That was a good one. My brother just got done. He just quit vaping. He quit vaping because it's expensive. And he wants to switch to this, which is the same price pretty much. But it's like the coils and all that's expensive apparently. It's like 15 bucks or more. And for a new vape, you always get new vapes, which are close to 100 bucks. So it is cheaper for this. This is an alternative. I prefer this compared to... I tried all the alternatives. Hmm. Oh, that's good. 
And it's weird too, because you know how when most dippers, um, where well, they can't handle the, the smaller the spit of like Copenhagen or Grizzly, that this shit, when you swallow it, I wouldn't suggest you would, but like say you spit it out and you still got that flavor in your mouth and you and you swallow it, it doesn't taste bad. I promise you, you won't gag. Um. Oh shit. Okay, I guess we're peeling that off. <laughs> Uh, oh man okay the peach it tastes like a peach it's good I like it mm. this is pack dip spit enjoy oh PDS this is good this is actually really good I like this well, I just dropped it. I just dropped it. It's fine. This is good. I like it. <laughs> you're probably wondering, uh, you ain't excited as you were as a rambling root beer. I mean, I like the rambling root beer. It's good. It's really good. I'm just not a fan of peaches. But I want to try it. For you guys. And I'm definitely going to dip it all. Would I rate this a 10 out of 10? I would say a 10. For me, only for me, I, I would probably rate it as like a 7. It's good. It tastes good. There's no doubt about it. All these dips that Outlaw produce are good. They're all good. I'm sure of it. I've tried six of his one cans, and I'm trying four of his other cans. Or three of his other cans. And I gotta, gotta say, they, they are good. It, it, they do take a while for them to deliver, but that's fine. You know, it's in New York. I'm in PA, and it's just over time. But I like it. It's good. It's good. All right, we're moving on <laughs> to Candy Cane. And you know, I might just, after this, if I like this too much, I might not spit it out. But if I do, we're going to be rubbing the bourbon. Ah. Mmm. My brother might not like that more. He likes he loves peaches. He's a weird one. <laughs> Wash our mouth out. You probably heard that gulp, didn't you? Okay. Candy cane. I don't know if this is a limited thing. I got it after Christmas. I'm gonna fix that. Ain't matching up. Damn it. Whatever. Uh, candy cane. I like the can. The can looks sick as fuck. That is the can. I don't know if you can kind of see. It's got like a Christmas candy cane background there. And there's a side. That was the first can I pulled out of the mail. Because they come in this little package. And the, you know it's that. Whenever you feel it around, you feel the cans. And it says out low on it. Oh. Alright, let's try this out. I'm not a fan of candy canes, neither. I've been either too sweet, kind of. So, let's, let's just see what this tastes like. My stomach's growling. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry for this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We got a little pinch. A little too major. I can't really pinch this stuff like I can grizzly. Um, what? You know, I, I intended it to taste like a candy cane. I knew it probably was, but it's meant to get fucked. <laughs> um, it tastes like a candy cane. It tastes like the original candy canes. Wow. Okay, so maybe I don't have to try the mint. Maybe I'll just dip the fucking candy cane because that's literally all it is. It tastes like original candy cane. Oh, it's minty. 
<laughs> is it as minty as Coke Mint? No. <laughs> is it mintier than Derringer Peppermint? Fuck no. Peppermint, Derringer, I did a whole can for my brother and his friend, and it was freezing outside anyways, and I was fucking, I was about to throw up. That was the only time I almost threw up from dip, and that was Derringer Peppermint, which I haven't rubbed since. Whew. That is a candy cane. That is a fucking candy cane. I'm sure my brother was like, what? Oh, fuck. The cans don't slap like they usually do. That's fine. I'll just fix it up. There we go. Oh, I like it. I think it's great. But it's a little bit deep. Okay, this is what I'm going to... Ah, uh, <laughs> I like it. I think it tastes great. But right now, if I'm going outside to shovel snow, which there is fucking a lot of snow outside, if I'm going outside to shovel snow, I'm putting some badass bourbon in. Maybe get a little, little buzz. Maybe get a little bit of warmness or something. Which honestly, I don't think you do get a little bit of warmness in your belly. Actually, you might, because when I put it in, I I kind of felt a little warm. Which that is actually, a, it's not a fact. Actually, um. When you drink whiskey and you feel that burn in your stomach or anywhere, like you feel warm again when you're freezing, that's just your brain tricking you that you're warm. Uh, whiskey does not actually make you warm. Mm -mm. It's your brain tricks you, make you feel warm. Which you're not actually warm. So if you if you have like three bottles, somehow, some way, three bottles of whiskey... Like any type of whiskey, like Jack Daniels, or mainly it's a Jack. And you drink about three bottles of whiskey when you're in the fucking mountain. Say you're in a mountain and you're freezing to death. You drink three bottles of whiskey. Are you going to stay warm? In your brain, you will. But you will also freeze to death. Which is kind of fucked up, you know what I mean? It's kind of stupid. But, uh, I know this video's really long, but, you know, we had to try it. I like the candy cane, but honestly, oh, it's minty. And we're going to do the bourbon either way. Oh, that is minty. Mmm. I'm mean, pretty sure you guys are probably wondering. Of course it's going to be fucking minty. It's a candy cane. Oh, yeah. You're right. But holy fuck is that minty. That, that is, oh, that is something else. All right. Badass bourbon. We did this on another video on the six cans flavors of outlaw on that channel. On I don't think I posted it on my main channel. I think it's on my second channel and my new channel at Tight Kill Dipper. Check that out if you can find it. It's not really verified right now, but there's a badass bourbon right here. This okay. Let me tell you a little story about this. It's not really a story. Let me just tell you something about the badass bourbon. I don't know if Outlaw made it just because Copenhagen Black released and they took it away and none of us got a bourbon flavor. I'm not sure if he did that. He just might have. Or he just likes bourbon. Which I'm pretty sure it's because of Copenhagen. Okay. Years ago, Copenhagen released two dips. Okay. Well, he released a dozen of them, but I'm just going to name off the two. One was called whiskey blend and the other one was called black copenhagen black whiskey blend to me oh it was horrible <laughs> it kind of tastes like wood in a way it tasted like fucking wood to me it was like wood shavings or whatever and it just it just wasn't good and that's why they don't have it no more it was discontinued. Then he released this one called Copenhagen Black. I'm not sure what year, but I'm pretty sure it was like somewhere around. I mean, the last time we've seen it, they had like a different label and it just didn't taste the same. It was, uh, came out in 2017 and it just, it just went away. And I bought like five cans of it from the Tobacco World and I didn't like it. Because it, it didn't taste the same as the original Copenhagen Black. They released it like three different times. Pretty sure one was back in 2009, and then another one was in 2016, and then I, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure, 2017, 2018. I don't know. 
I just know I tried it twice. One was the original Copenhagen Black, and the other one was like the different version of Copenhagen Black. The original one had a hint of like bourbon slash whiskey. It was good to me, um, but it wasn't good enough. And then the new one, it just it just didn't taste right. It's kind of like uh, what Grizzly did with their big cans recently with the plastic cans, and they just didn't taste like Grizzly. I don't know what the fuck they did. Um, and then Outlaw released this dip a couple years ago. And when I tried it first yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before, uh, last time I uploaded that video, it literally tastes like bourbon, and it literally smells like it was fucking doused in whiskey. I don't know. I'm, I've always been, I, see, I, I can't drink anymore. I take this certain type of medicine where I just, you know, my, I can't drink. Now, years ago, I never liked beer. I still don't. I fucking hate beer. The last time I had a beer was in a casino recently, and I had a Bud Light, and I had like two Bud Lights, and I just didn't feel it. I had a glass, didn't like the glass. Then I had the fucking, the, the little tall fucking tin bottles, kind of. No, I didn't like it either. I'm more of a whiskey guy. I like my Jack Daniels. I like my Southern Comfort. I like my whiskey. And I've always liked whiskey and dips. Because I can't, I can't drink anymore. So I rub. And now we're just going to dip this now. Because we're about 21 minutes in. And I'm wasting you guys' time. But if you want to, you can skim through. I suggest you don't. But do the fuck you want. I don't care. Alright. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Okay. Now we're just going to rate these up guys right now. Uh, <coughs> Georgia Peach. 7 out of 10. Ramblin' Root Beer. 10 out of 10. Candy Cane. <laughs> I would say 10 out of 10 because it does taste like a candy cane. But to me it's a little minty. And I could never rub minty dips anymore. But I'm still going to rub this. So about a 7 out of 10. Badass Bourbon. 20 out of 10. <laughs> All right. Then we got certain sweet tea. This is completely gone. I mean, there's a little bit left in there, but it's literally completely gone. <laughs> this was a 10 out of 10. Someone told me um, to mix the Georgia peach with a southern sweet tea. Now, I can't do that because it's empty. I might be able to. Yeah, I could. I got a little bit left. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more subscribers. If you're new, I'm going to go shuffle snow. Mm. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.